Okay, my panel's back with me. We're going to try to set <laughs> Stacey's mentions right now. Um, let's go back to Stacey Abrams for just a second, because the, we were talking in the break about why Georgia is such a difficult uh, place for Democrats to win. Right. Well, well, part of it is because of voter suppression, and part of it is because you, you've got Atlanta and you've got most of the rest of the state and even Savannah, and you didn't always have enough uh, high-interest voter registration in Atlanta and the Atlanta suburbs. People cared about the mayor, but they didn't necessarily get that involved in the rest of the state. They weren't necessarily voting in off-year elections. This year, with a tough race for Keisha Lance Bottoms, we got hundreds of thousands of people involved and motivated, and with Kemp being this sort of aggressive guy who runs around saying, I'm going to get rid of Mexicans in the state and, and putting guns next to 16-year-olds, that's going to galvanize black voters and a way for Stacey Abrams that we may have not seen in the past. Like I said, it's going to be difficult, but if there's a candidate in a year that black folk will come out and make a difference, this yeah. could be that year. And I feel like Alabama changed the game, the idea that black women are super motivated now right. because yeah. they smell victory. They've done it. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? It's so interesting because at one point I was like, black women are going to save us. That just <laughs> They're going to save the country. This is, this is who we got to count on. Then I was reading a lot of interesting things that black women aren't entitled or obligated to save us. They saved themselves. Yes. They didn't want that, you know, child molester, alleged child molester, banned from malls, whatnot, to be to be in their local government. So. Yeah. I mean, you're banned from Hot Topic. I generally think that that's probably, and it, yeah. not that he was necessarily banned from Hot Topic. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> let's talk about Florida. I, I am perplexed by Florida as well. So you have three, well, really four, because you have Jeff Green, who's also running for the Democratic governor's race. Those of you who are not on it, Andrew Gillum, an African-American candidate, Gwen Graham, um, who is the daughter of, uh, of Bob Graham, uh, and the former mayor, Philip Levine, the former mayor of Miami Beach, all in contention. It is a very topsy-turvy race. It now appears that Levine and Graham are at the top. What's going on there? So I, I find this baffling as well. I thought Andrew Gillum was going to definitely make more waves than he has. I do Tallahassee think, um, mayor, African American. Tallahassee mayor, an alumni of uh, Florida A&M University, and just this week a federal judge ruled that um, pr prohibiting early voting sites on campuses and universities are discriminatory. And so I thought this would be great because Andrew Gillum, you know, graduated yeah, from you, BAMU. Sure. The, you have He's got been behind the Parkland kids. Completely. Kids. Bethune Cookman down there. I mean, I just thought this might shift with all the colleges and young voters down there. So we'll see what happens. I'm not ready. I'm holding out hope. I'm not ready to, 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 to give up on Andrew Yeah, Florida. I'm not ready to discount Is this Florida death. another Georgia a theory, uh, uh, that's winnable in theory? demographically, but not necessarily winnable for Democrats for some weird reason, in fact. Well, the, the other thing that ends up happening is, while you have a functional Democratic Party in Florida, they're not as functional as they should. They're, they're, they, they don't have the kind of structure on the ground that they should for a state that remains as competitive uh, at some of the local races as they do. And that's part of the issue. I, I, I've, I've found it, whether you're looking at Georgia, whether you're looking at Alabama, where you're looking at Ohio, there's a lot of these states where the Democratic Party in recent years has said, man, we're just, we can't really pull this off. And they don't put the kind of money and they don't have the kind of focus behind the candidates they need to have. Yeah. Maybe this will change when the primary is over and if Gilliam or, or whoever else pulls it off, maybe yeah. they'll coalesce and come together. But I don't see the structure down there to right. make a statewide push the way they should. The year of the woman, Gwen Graham, if she pulls it out, can she win in Florida? I, I hope so. I feel like the, it's the year of the women every year, but also I feel like we need to focus more resources on Florida. I mean, Dems, we really, we cannot afford to lose. I mean, people Howard say... Howard Dean, that, try to tell them. Yeah. Yeah. Really? strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Try to tell y'all. Yeah. Tiffany Cross, Jason Johnson, Anujay Hossein, thank you guys very much.